Sai, disappointed today, man. Very, very disappointed. Yeah. Bad performance from from start to, to, to the end, yeah. to be honest. I mean, yeah. people can look at it and say we looked a little bit better second half. That's because the damage was done and Arsenal yeah. just sat there. Yeah. And that's when we are at our worst, when someone just sits there and says break us down. And we couldn't do it. Yeah, mate. It's the same old, same old, mate. I'm just... It's a lack of lack of inconsistent, inconsistent side, inconsistent manager, and I and I, and I told you again, man. Only got a freestyle, man. I said it from day one, and I say it again, man. There's just no plan out there. When a team goes toe to toe with United, and there's a, there's a tactical plan. Arteta today for me got game plan spot on. He knew yeah that United had front three, but he also knew that United can't break down teams. And only got Solskjaer had nothing all day, nothing. Almost the play. I told you the players are playing for themselves. These literally, them players go out there and say, you know what? How how can we play? Because at the end of the day, Jesse Lingard, nominous. J Rashford, yeah. You played against Maitland Niles. You know, I mean, make shit right back here. Yeah? You've got a chance to go one on one with him. Nothing over there. Him and Luke Shaw for me, yeah. When you talk about chemistry, yeah, total zero, mate. Total zero, mate. We're we'll talking about. I, I don't. I feel like there's no energy in Luke Shaw, man. There's a, there's no more bringing energy into Luke Shaw because I, I think it's just not good enough, mate. He absolutely got done out here, Pepe. Absolutely. For about how how long was Pepe on? Fifty minutes. Done out here again. No lucky forward. But forget that. I think like he's done out here. But for me, yeah, that was an opportunity today, yeah, to put a mark on. It was yeah. top four. Chelsea lost. Well, Drew, sorry. Wolves, you know what I mean? We're, we're out here with Wolves, so I'm going to mention Wolves. Mm. Tottenham again lost. You know what I mean? Top four is there for the taking. But what we do again, the same bottle drop tendencies again, fall within the side. And yet again, it's same old, same old. But you know what, United fans, what we'll say, you know what, we got we got Norwich coming up, we got Wolves coming up. Don't worry, we'll win again. It's not about that, but bigger picture, mate. Bigger picture is we are the same old, same old. And under this manager, we're not going to improve. We're not going to get to where we are. Is that what United fans want, yeah? And you want to become a top six club, yeah? Then fair enough, yeah. But United need to get at top four minimum. And I mean minimum, mate. And if that's but because what... it's still in reach, though, it's not like we've lost this game and all of a sudden yeah, we're it's... way off top yeah, four. We can't do it. You spoke about the inconsistencies. Surely getting behind some form of yeah, but what, process. We, I'm not saying we can yeah, exactly yeah. see what it is, but. You know, I'm, we, we have to sort of see, yeah. not be too reactionary because literally the next Premier League game, which is what, Norwich, we win that, yeah, but that's, what, someone what, else what loses now, again. What we now do, are we at Crystal Palace? Win two, yeah, you know what, we've lost two, don't worry, we're next to the game. We should be coming on a consistent run, four games on a bounce, four or five games on a bounce. We should be coming here at least putting a fight. They out fight, they out fought us today. That's the minimum in football to our, to, our, to come out there and battle today. We'd never battle, we never, from the first minute get go, they put a slide tackle in, yeah, and they came out there and they were like, you know what, are you having it? And none of them today, barring Fred, yeah, Fred and Martial, barring them two, yeah, the rest of them were garbage today. And yet again, mate, I keep saying it, there's no clear plan out there. There isn't. It's just go out there, yeah? Go and express yourselves. Go do something. And it's just literally, what was the plan today? Jesse Lingard today, yeah, was a perfect game to go press. He no pressing at all. The front three, no press at all today. It was, you know what, lump it over. All David Luiz did, yeah, was lump it over towards Klasinac and then they run onto the, onto the left-hand side. And I thought, one well, I struggled today because of the fact that Daniel James wasn't helping and there was no clear outlet in the side. And I just don't know where we go from here. We, we're so inconsistent here, yeah? And it's like, do we do deserve top four? Do we deserve honestly top four? The bigger picture is going to come sooner or later and it's going to be like, you know what, you know, you know, the, the, when we go to Liverpool, when we go to, to teams like even Norwich, right? mm. you know, you've got the Wolves, Norwich coming up. We, we talked about it there. Do you, do you think we're going to be winning against Wolves? Norwich even, eh? they're on a little bounce. coming to our place, yeah. You know what I mean? It's just the same old problems will keep happening and happening. January you know, transfer window. Mate, I'm telling you Are now, we spending yeah? money? Listen, if so, mate, if where does it need to be spent? If Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is not spending money on that team, it's an absolute disgrace. We need two midfielders minimum, mate. And I mean minimum, bare minimum. Go get Ericsson, go get Grealish. I don't care if they play for Tottenham or Aston Villa. You go get them and say, you know what, you play for my United. And I know Haller rejected. And I know we're not the big club we are before. But if you go tell them, mate, listen, we're going to get on a top four charge, yeah? We're going to build on from next season. And, and he'll, I'm telling you, will come. But if they did show ambition, because look, Solskjaer's had one transfer window, let's say. Yeah, if they did, if the club did go out and spend in January, would that show you that actually they are trying to, yeah. to they can they do believe in what they're doing? You know, they, if they did get those two players, you're saying, or someone of that ilk, yeah. would that then show you that actually, you know what, they do mean business? They're well, not happy with where we Mizdow, are. Right from Mizdow Flex, we got a guy called Ed Woodward, mate. That is absolutely, uh, absolute. This is a virus of the football club. If he doesn't go out there, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has to tell Ed Woodward right now, I need creative midfielders because it's clear and evident out there. And as Pereira does it, it works in sporadic moments. It, go, it comes in. Burst. Jesse Lingard comes in burst. On off, on off game, they'll it'll give you that kind of performance. No goals and assists. We're, re we're relying on Jesse Lingard, no goals and assists. Pereiro, assists here and there, goal here and there. 
you know, we're, that is, we're talking about my United Football Club, an elite club, yeah, and you're telling me we're relying on these two. We need to go get Ericsson. Say to, to Ed, all of the social needs to stamp his authority. He wants to, you're your Manchester United manager. You're not an interim anymore. You're not, you've got, you've got to have a clear plan. I say to Ed Woodward, I want creative midfielders. If you're going to get top four and you're going to help me, get me them two midfielders and then I can build on something. Then Ole Gunnar can be fully judged and then it will be on him to say, you know what, you've got the players now, now do something. I just think, mate, we are, we are an, an imbalanced squad. I'm telling you right now, we've got players out there that just don't fit the system. You know what I mean? With Daniel James, I love the guy. Yeah, but it's one trip only. We shouldn't be relying on Daniel James, man. You know what I mean? Man got, you can talk about all this presence and all that, man. You know what I mean? Lucas Pepe, yeah? But you know what, mate? It's that real quality will shine. It just doesn't get a matter of taking time. We're sorted with Fred today. You know what I mean? For me, the man of the match for me for United. Same old, same old, eh? Same old, same old. Same inconsistent. Okay, be consistency. Same frailties. And it's just, just not good enough. It's just simply simply isn't good enough and that's where we are right now that is where we are right now we had a chance to be arsenal arsenal an inconsistent team you know what i mean makeshift right backs makeshift left backs you know what i mean center backs are aging and midfield really that yes it's good on paper but you know what i mean it's very very you know what i mean under the under the first moments of arteta's reign and it's just you know what i mean what it's just shocking me and that for me is it's just not good enough, mate. No fight, no desire, no passion, no energy, no game plan. Just literally nothing at all. And we just absolutely gave nothing in that game. And it's just a case of back to the drawing board again, back to where we are, really. A mid-table club, a mid-mid-table club. You know what I mean? The goals, you know what I mean? Just cheap, cheap giveaway goals for me. You know what I mean? You look at the first one, Pepe, there was no one, no one at all. You know what I mean? On the far post, you know what I mean? No one marking it, deflecting off Lindelof. And it's just all, all that seen happening. I think Luke Shaw had a torrid, torrid game. But no agenda, no agenda. You know what I mean? That's what they say, eh? And then we just literally, they were bombing on forward. They were, what they were doing was they had Aubameyang playing in the kind of a, a false left position. It was getting him in between the lines. It was almost caught in havoc. It was going in, in between Mambisaka and, and Matic. You couldn't get near him, man. Mambisaka was getting dragged out wide all the time. No spit, no help from Daniel James. And it was just a case of... You know what I mean? And then they got the second goal. I don't know what happened having the game, man, again. But not commanding enough in the centre box, but not commanding at all. And he just, you know, fluffed it and then hit off Lindos back. And then I think it was Socrates that hit it off the, off the line. But uh, and then after that, we just didn't look like we were improving. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Then it, we, I thought we needed that second half desperately, absolutely desperately, because it was getting beyond the joke at that, at that half. And then second half, did it change? Not at all, really. We often puffed, you know what I mean? Tried to do something, tried to create, you know what I mean? With Anders Pereira coming on and Daniel James. And did it work out? Not really, but yeah, man, I just don't know, man. I just don't know with this, this manager and this squad. They're not really good enough. We haven't got really quality, apart from Martial and and Fred, mate, we haven't got much quality in this team. We need we need investment. We need clear, clear investment. We need creative midfielders. We need people that can find a man that can help Martial. He's absolutely feeding us scraps. Every time he's dribbling about three or four man. If you're dribbling about three or four man, yeah, that's something going wrong. Because he's thinking they're not just not good enough for me. They're just not good enough to help me out in key moments. And it's just a case of you know what I mean? What what do we do here, man? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I just we need great midfielders. We need Grealish. We need Ericsson. Just get someone in there, but some midfielders in there to help us out because we are lacking, lacking real, real quality. And that where's that going to come down to? You know what I mean? That's where the manager has to go out there, tell Ed Woodward, I need players, I need players in right now. You know what I mean? And, yeah, man, he's got Arsenal fans everywhere Give you banter, presence and all that, Pepe But I told you, quality does shine It does really, really shine And You know what I mean? Um, people talk about Daniel James I like the guy, but where's the end quality? There isn't any end quality with Daniel James He's just one of them hit and go, you know what I mean? Is, is that what United are right now? A hit and go team, you know what I mean? Is that what we are right now? But, I don't know, man It's just a case of back to the drawing boards And then we go again against Wolves And it's just the same old, same old I don't know, I told you I don't believe in this manager long term, short term, yes, it can do something, you know what I mean, maybe get us to the top five and then we'll build up from there, but I think long term manager, we need a, we need Pochettino, we need someone that's got, is a proper, proper coach and someone that can just guide us back to where we are, man, where we, where we used to be, where we used to be was a top club, top four minimum, challenging for trophies, and United now have lowered the expectation of this football club, we've lowered it to a, to a whole new low, and that for me today was shambolic, that was absolutely disgraceful. No fight, no desire, no ambition to, to win the game. And it was just, again, only going to throw style. Yep. Boy, boy, boy. 
that was for me very, 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 very underwhelming, uh, gutless, lifeless, just an epitome of a manager who has no ideas. And let's be quite frankly, and I know, and I know I get it. I know Oli, people want to support him as a legend football club, but he is a manager right now. And for me, clearly, clearly, clearly he's out of his depth. And that is from the ideas on the football pitch, off the pitch, my management, tactics, um, substitutions, you know what I mean? Every single thing that's what's going on right now it's for me just not good enough zero shots on target for me it's not good enough it really really isn't as a Man United manager you should have be having shots you should be having good football that is the first thing you you bring to, towards a football club what is your ideas and if you're not getting no shots on target I'm sorry and I'm quite frankly for, for you know, honestly it's just not good enough it really really isn't good enough and when we're Manchester United mate, I keep saying that's the old saying for me my United football club have become bad so we have we have absolutely degraded in all levels we have degraded because at this time we're accepting this mediocrity it's an absolute joke and this is no agenda against Oli it was a great great footballer but as a manager he's not taking us any forward for me it's no no better than David Moyes it's not better than Van Gaal it's not better than Jose Mourinho it really really isn't yes he's getting more goals in here and there but is it is it improvement is it improvement into the footballing structure you know I mean off, on and off the pitch it's just not good enough for me and it, it looked like today for me it really looked like today for me it came in with a game plan to get a draw it really really looked like that for me because it came in with a game plan almost to you know the players epitomise it and just to collect the clear lack of plan you know what I mean you're putting in matter in there and I get it we have no you know substitute you know players out there were injury crisis but you're telling me you can't get a structure in there where you know everyone knows what they're doing you know what i mean chong yes he played all right today but was there a clear plan out there mason greenwood again hung up to dry up front we looked better when rashford and fred came on fair enough but i just look out there and i think he didn't go for a draw so he could get a favored home draw when away away and i think you know what well, we'll do the business when we get there we just can't do it we haven't got the players and the stretch and games we've got right now it's not good enough we have got so many, so many games. We don't need another fixture. We really, really don't. And it's getting beyond sad at the minute. It really, really is getting beyond sad. I, I know my clear. That's why I'm not shouting. I'm, I'm not getting over it, you know, over this, by the way. I know, you know my opinion. I said it from, you know what? I said it last season, but I wanted to give Oliver Solskjaer in summer to work with his players. But I gave him to, to West Ham. The West Ham for me game was the final, final draw in this Final, final straw, sorry. And that was when I just seen a lack of ideas and a lack of what he would want to implement in his team. And there isn't any. There is really, really isn't any. And I looked at that game today and you're thinking, you got a double pivot of Matic and Pereira. Are they going to break the lines? No. You know what I mean? You've got uh, Matter in the hole. For me, I think he's done out here. He really, really is. Daniel James again, non effective when he came off again. You know what I mean? And this was his silence. These were his silence, you know what I mean? And our defence today was the best bit about today. And that is my United Football Club. Defence is your best bit about you. What's the attack doing? What are we doing up front? And people are saying we don't need any forwards as well. Yes, we need creative midfields, but I feel like we need forwards, mate. I would go and buy a striker in this summer, in this trying to transfer window. And I'm talking about Edison Cavani is free. In, in the summer if you go put in the money now to PSG well, you can go get him you've got to get something all this delusional like you need only Martial and Greenwood at Man United it's absolutely delusional we need competition for places and you need players that are going to come in there and battle in there if you don't want to get anyone yeah go look at loan options go look at something you know what I mean you've got to try and do something because right now it's not working we need <laughs> we need midfielders ASAP absolutely ASAP we need attacking midfielders we need box to box midfielders we need something we need an Embry Tran maybe and, 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 and a Christian Eriksson if you can get them in the summer plus another forward for me you've got to get another forward I think we need three transfers in the January we've got five months of football left five months and it's obviously if it gets successful we've got five months of football and you're telling me you don't need all these players we do I don't know man I'm just losing, losing my mind at the minute. Watching United is absolutely terrible. It really, really is terrible, and it's becoming like, like, what is? Is it all worth it, man? Is it all worth it? And I go and I look at that game, and I'm thinking, you know what? Glad I didn't go to Wolves now. I'm really, really glad I didn't go to Wolves now because, excuse me, that is beyond. It's not acceptable for my United. That performance out there today, 
unacceptable. Unacceptable. And if you're only in, and I respect your opinion, you think that, you know, the Woodward and all that, they are the problem. But right now, on that pitch, on that pitch, it's not good enough. It really, really isn't good enough. And we got Tuesday, Man City. <laughs> it doesn't get any easier. It really, really doesn't get any easier. I think the curtains are... The, what the uh, the writers on the curtains soon, and I think we're just waiting for the inevitable. We are waiting for the season to slide. We are waiting for a manager to be sacked. In all honesty, because I just think that the Glazers will soon or later they will realise, yeah, it's just not working, is it? It's just not working. But anyway, guys, that's me the mind match reaction. Let me know in the comments what you think. It was your man of the match for me. Probably Brandon Williams. I thought he marshaled up. Try around the game, something that a lot of players have not done this uh, season. So yeah, Bradley Williams, maybe Lindelof. I thought he was done well against the, uh, well, well, what he had to do really. You know, what I mean, defend, and that's what we all we did. We defended and got a draw. So um, difficult to take today because I, I said it almost at the beginning of every fan count. We can take losing against better sides. What we can't take is being embarrassed, being out fought, being out tactic, not having a clue. Um, for City, large parts of today, training match. Training match, we saw our players scared on the ball. A complete capitulation. Yes, we managed to muster up a goal against the run of play, but let's not kid ourselves, that was um, City taking the foot of the gas. This board, yeah? This board is a fucking joke, mate. I've fucking had enough, mate. I've absolutely had enough. This football club, yeah, is an absolute banter club, mate. Ed Woodward, yeah? Ed fucking Woodward, yeah? Get the fuck out of this football club. I'll be real out here, man. Get the fuck out of this football club. If you're not willing to spend, yeah, get the fuck out of here. This guy, yeah, has fucking got Oli hung in to dry. And what has Oli done? He's got a fucking hung in every single player out there to dry. This football club, yeah, is finished, mate. Absolutely dead out here. Out there, yeah, that was fucking training ground, bro. Absolutely training ground. I said it, bro. Yeah, 7th, 1st, yeah, 11th, bro. I'll be real out here, man. Absolutely joke, bro. This fucking Woodward, yeah. If you're not signing players, yeah. If you don't know, if you don't realize, yeah, out there, yeah, what the problems are in this football team, yeah. Then listen, mate. Get the fuck out of the football club. He is a disease in this football club. Disease, yeah. I'm telling you right now, bro. He does not give a fuck about this football club, yeah. All he cares about is the commercial avenue of this football club and everything that comes with it. He does not care about this football club in terms of trophies, yeah. In terms of winning titles. In terms of this club progressing. And what we are doing now, mate. AC Milan, yeah. I told you about AC Milan, yeah. We are the fucking new AC Milan, bro. Let's be real out here. Everyone coming here thinking, yeah, we're gonna beat Man City. Are you having a laugh, bro? That was a training ground today, bro. De Bruyne and Gundogan, Rodri, bro, at ease, bro. At ease, bro. And what do we go do, yeah? We're hiring a fucking clown, yeah? In Solskjaer, yeah? He's a clown, bro. Because at the end of the day, yeah, that's nothing. Basic, basic tactics, yeah? Ed, uh, Guardiola today schooled him. Every aspect of the game schooled him. When we pressed, yeah, over the top. No play at all. There was no plan out there. It was almost, again, I told you, he's hung him to dry again. And what does that show about this football club? It's that we don't care. We don't care about the fans. Come here, 700 quid for that season ticket, yeah? What have I paid for that season ticket? What have I paid, bro, to see banter? What have we, what we become now? Are we a banter club now? Please tell me, Flex, bro. I've had enough of this football club, man. Because at the end of the day, yeah, I come out here every single day, home and away, and people say I don't fucking care about this football club. Are you taking a piss, yeah? Is this what you want? Is this what all United fans want? To become banter? What are we right now, man? Let me t I'll be real out here, man. What does everyone see? But we've, but we've, 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 I keep saying it with the rebuild. I know that. And I'm not trying to make excuses for, for Solskjaer. I'm not. But it is going to still take time. He's only had one transfer window, another one. About, Listen, we're in, mate, we're in another no one. Money, bro. He don't deserve no money. I don't want him spending one penny more on players, bro. He's got a fucking spot. 80 million on Daniel James. He's bought it for a reason. And he's bought it for a reason to start. That is why he's bought him. He's bought him for a reason to start. So, so strategically, yeah, he's gonna say, I want them players, bro. Did we need really Harry Maguire at 80 million? Did we really need Juan Bissaka at 50 million? Let's be real out here. The strategies in the circuit players has been non existent. And it comes down to also Ed Woodward. Absolutely none at all. And the structure of this football club, we're relying on Ed Woodward and the Glazers. Do you think they're gonna do you think do you think that I don't they're, think they're, they're gonna, gonna spend a penny, bro? I'll be real, they're not gonna spend a penny, bro. Because they don't care about this football club. They don't care where we are. As long as we're seventh, yeah, and as long as we're Europe League places and we bring out the money. Every season, yeah, people come out here. They come out because they think, you know what, it's Man United Football Club. And we'll come out and we'll spend all the money. This is the time, mate. If we're gonna come out here, yeah, this is the time to protest now. And be real out here. If we're not winning any trophies, yeah, people need to give their season to get away. You need to give come out here and say, you know what, we're not coming again. Because that's where the only reason that this football club will know where we are. But how difficult is that to do, Sai? Si? Because we all love United. We all want to come and support the players. It's like people saying, don't go buy shirts, don't go buy this. I get that. You want the owners to feel it in the pocket. But how difficult is that in terms of they're playing on heartstrings? We all love the club. We all love 
but that's the what team. they've won so then. We, they've we won want then. That's come. the problem though. They've mm. won then. If that's what's gonna happen, yeah, they've won. They've absolutely kid us out and say we're singing out there. You know what I mean? United, United. Mm. We shouldn't be a singing. Should be silence, mate. Absolutely silence. We've got to support the players on the pitch bro. as soon as the game starts. We nah, still have man, to support them. Nah, I'm not having that, bro, because we can't be banned. We, we've almost become mediocre now. It's got to the point where every single person now is leveled. They lowered expectations, football club, because we're happy now to be where we are. That's what we are now. And, and there's people that are accepting it. That's for me. I cannot stand, bro. I cannot accept this role no more. I cannot accept this mediocrity. United should be challenging for trophies. I don't care how much we are in the transition. United should be getting top four minimum and challenging for trophies. Bro, out there today, bro, embarrassing. Absolutely embarrassing. It was school kids again playing against bigger men. Men versus little kids, bro, that was out there today. And we had no desire, no game plan. What was the game plan today? Please tell me. For the first 10 minutes, yeah, again, I told you, freestyle football. I told you, bro, are you going to freestyle? Because out there, yeah, they were out, te for the first 10 minutes, yeah, they went out there, go play for the badge, go run every ball. And then from then on, when City had the ball, they, pre you know what I mean, they slowed down, they realised, this is my United me, this is a banter club now. A banter football team with no idea, no structure, no way of playing, no transition. And Jesse Lingard, mate, is asking for that money, mate. I'm sorry, mate. It's for you, it's done out here. Go to Riola, go wherever you're going, yeah? But please, it's not good enough for this football club. And I keep telling you about Lindelof. I kept telling you all, all you lot, yeah, saying Lindelof's not good enough. I kept telling you. And we've got banter players, man. We need an exodus. We know what I call exodus, bro. We need an exodus, bro. Andes Pereira, not good enough. Phil Jones, not good enough. Lingard, not good enough. Matic not good enough. We need about 10 players, yeah, out of this team. And you know what the banter thing is, yeah? You man are saying Ashley Young and all that, yeah. But you know what, mate? When he plays out there, yeah, he puts a them preference. Ricky, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. Ricky, man, I love you. Ricky, bro. Ricky, Ricky, yeah? I love you, yeah, bro. Matic, yeah? That's the problem we are right now. We're, we've lowered our standards, yeah? And I love Ricky, man, yeah? I've got time for the guy, yeah? But we've lowered our standards, yeah? Where we... I'm not, I've not seen no distance. All I've seen, yeah, was a safe game from Matic. All I've seen, yeah, was, you know what? Pass it here and there. Pass it here and there. I've not seen anything, mate. And that is what the problem is for United. We've lowered our expectation of football club to the point where we're saying, you know what? Matic had a good performance. You know what I mean? Brandon Williams, you know what I mean? Fair play yeah, to the he, kid today. He was good. He pulled his arts out there. But you know what? We're taking courage, heart, passion of a quality football. And that is where the football club lies right now. We're taking quality, passion merchants, yeah? And these all these top reds, yeah? I think this is good enough, mate. It's not good enough, mate. Because we are a banter club right now. And this, nothing's going to solve this right now. January transfer window, you need to go and get a minimum of four silos, mate. And I'll tell you the four silos are, yeah? Forward. Right winger, centre midfielder, yeah, and an attack him midfielder. Go and get them four signings, yeah, and I'm telling you, we can, we can somehow save the season. But if you're not going to do that, mate, yeah. Four signings in January. Yeah, listen, mate, it's got to be done. Where do you got to do something, bro? If you're not going to do anything, yeah, then get out of the football club. Yeah. Get out of there. What, what, what are you coming here for? We need four signings minimum. You didn't do it in the summer, yeah, so fucking do it now, mate. I'll be real out here, man. Do it now, bro, or save, or the season's gone, bro. You're open league and all that, yeah. We're out of the Carabao Cup. Let's be real out here. There's no chance. This man is saying, no, we, we, we played well in the second half, mate. That's the mentality of this football club. I don't want to hear this guy's comments ever again, bro. Should be barred from doing comments after, after post-match, yeah? Because he's fucking clueless, man, yeah? Yeah, he's being as banter as bro, man. And I'm here getting pissed off for no reason. You know what I mean? This guy has, has leveled the football club to this standard, yeah? And we're getting pissed off for no reason. Because you know what? We'll beat Norwich at home. Is that where we come now? Norwich at home, mid-table club. Fucking done out here, man. Get the fucking, yeah. Glazers, get the fuck out of the football club. Woodward, get the fuck out of the football club. I'm done with this, man, yeah? That's fucking shit, man. Manchester United 1, Manchester City 3. Carabao Cup, absolutely utter garbage. And I'm not having this nonsense about last 20 minutes, 25 minutes, they gave heart, they gave passion. That was, for me, borderline mediocre, borderline... Embarrassing, absolutely embarrassing that was. That was for me not a befitting of a Manchester United team. Just shows where we're at at the minute. At the minute, we are absolutely at an all-time low. We have fallen to new lows, and we are literally a fallen giant. That's it. That is literally it. Nothing else to be said. Nothing else to more to give to that. Comical defending. Comical players. Bunch of average, average, overpaid players. Jesse Lingard, mate, walk out of Old Trafford, mate. You do not deserve to wear that badge. 100 grand a week you want at this football club. And he's that at this football club. And that is absolutely garbage what he put out there. Absolutely utter garbage. You know what I mean? City fans singing in delirious. Just no ideas, absolutely no ideas at this football club. And I don't know where we go from here. I absolutely don't know where we go from here. Outclassed, absolutely outclassed. Literally, you know, what can you say? What more can you say? Outclassed, outperformed, no fight, no desire. Yes, you can talk about last 20 minutes, 
that was Lindelof. Yeah, he's absolutely done out here. Jones should never ever play for this football club again. Absolutely should never ever play for this football club. We absolutely got ripped apart. No midfield, no ideas. No, I mean, no game plan. What was the game plan for all the social today? Absolutely not at all. He just was out there. Yeah, yeah, lads, go play for the badge. Go and literally play for the badge. And that was the game plan today. Nothing at all. Absolutely nothing. And you know what I mean? Is that what United fans like right now? That is not where United should be. United should be on the same level as Man City. You know what I mean? We are that kind of club. But you know what, mate? We have a sick to an all-time low. And it's sad, man. It's absolutely sad, man. You know what I mean? No chance in the second half. Second second leg. Absolutely no chance. And it's just like, you know, I don't accept this, man. I literally don't accept this, man. Accept a mediocrity. Absolutely mediocrity. You know what I mean? What, what have I paid my season ticket for? What have I paid my season ticket for? To become a banter club? Is that what we've done, man? We have become a banter club, man. And it's this manager that has caused that, absolutely caused that to the limit. And it's just like, I don't know, man. I'm just living, man. I'm just, it's a sad state of affairs. And we just, we need quality, man. And Ed Woodward, yeah, get, 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 get yourself together right now. Get your act together right now. Go sign some fucking players. It's an absolute joke, man. We, we need quality. And there's absolutely no quality out there. Absolutely not at all. And what does that come from? You know what I mean? A lack of investment in the squad. Absolutely lack of investment. And you know what I mean? It just goes to show how, how, how much of a comedy we are. Absolutely comedy. I just look at this pitch and I look at the old traffic. We become a theatre of galleries and just, you know, uh, memories. And Sally Ferguson left there with memories and that's what we've become. We've just become a gallery of memories. And it's just a sad state of affairs, you know what I mean? Where we are right now, absolute joke, but... What can you do? What can you do? Just utter garbage. Absolutely. Utter garbage. What can you say, mate? We're well, that good, wasn't it? Oh, man. Absolutely. I don't know, man. I'm just gutted, man. The club has fallen. Absolutely fallen. Oh, fucking. Let, get me out of here. Saeed, yeah. um, work for a like performance today, man. Yeah, you yeah. had to go and get the job done. You, you're never quite sure with us. Um, but, you know, credit to where credit's due. They went and yeah. done the job emphatic win today. And a clean sheet, man. Yeah, man, we needed that, bro, after that drab, mate. Yeah. After that drab against Man City, man. You know you know how I feel, man. That was yeah. probably, for me, one of the one of the worst games of the season. Yeah. But we came out here, I think it's an official performance. That's what, for good me. Good reaction. Yeah, good reaction. I thought it was quite a matter show today. Mm. Quite a matter. What, what it doesn't give you in pace, it gives you in kind of his all-round technique. For me, it's probably one of the most technique for players we've got in that team you know what I mean in terms of just intelligence quality, as well intelligence on the yeah. ball just you know his overall play you know he sees a pass before everyone else sees it and and, I'm all, and I do say still he needs to be sold in the season but if he could be, if he wants to be a squad player maybe second third choice when you bring him in here and there that would be brilliant but when you see I know I know it is only against Norwich yeah, yeah. and no disrespect to Norwich but it's you know Norwich. but it, it, you, to me, he, he doesn't no but no what I'm saying no, what I'm saying is is that he still has that level of intellect and in that why, yeah, yeah. why why can't he do that against a Liverpool or a City or an Arsenal should we be playing in more in more important is, games the game, the game is more mobile the game is more tactical in terms of like you know you need the press you need the energy you need the so if, if we're pressing against Man City and you're telling Quan Mata to press in a right forward mm. position mm. they're just going to lump it over the ball into, into left back position mm. then they move over to the ball centre midfield I think for for you know games that are Peace very high pace yeah. high pace games you, you, Quan Mata's not in there but mm. when you need a game where a moment of brilliance a moment of quality when Norwich sat back mate they, they almost invited every single United attack and what you need is one moment of brilliance and I feel like that's the difference between him and Pereira you know what I mean I, I'd rather have quite matter over Pereira every game now because of the fact that one moment of brilliance you've seen it with the Rashford goal mm. unbelievable but every, no one else sees that apart from quite matter mm. and I thought and today was every, uh, every, Martial said as well yeah exactly I thought everything today was about quite matter and how he dictated the game second goal is going to be not the third goal mm. you know what I mean that, that ball whiz you know what I mean Martial mm. on a plate for him that's what you want you don't want Martial doing what he did in the first half and just keep attracted to the ball mm. and then he loses the ball you need a person to dink it over the top and that's why we're crying for that for Bruno Fernandes, you know what I mean, mm. in terms of that ball, so number 10, just get the ball, give it to Martial, mm. give it to Rashford, dink it over the top, and then we do our what business. Do you, what do you think of this um, this, this Bruno Fernandes, this yeah. link? I mean, are, are you having him? Are you here for that that kind Bruno, of energy? Bruno Fernandes FC, man, I'm, I'm always for that energy, and I feel like 
The only problem for me is, can we get it done early? Because apparently there's reports of Tottenham coming in yeah, there. And you know what, Jose Mourinho, man. Jose Mourinho, you know what it is, man. He, he, he probably hates Wooden more than anyone else. The fact that way he mistreated him and all that. Yeah. So he, you know he's going to come in there. If Harry Kane's injured, yeah, what they're going to do is Deli Ali up top. And then you're going to play Bruno Fernandes in the number 10 hole. Mm. And then that's what they're going to build their game on. And if he says to, he's going to come into that Tottenham team, he said, listen, I want transfers in January. Don't, don't worry about summer. I need something now because I've lost Harry Kane. If it wasn't the Harry Kane factor, I would have thought we'd be in You think Tottenham position. would outspend us, though? Would do you think they've got it in there? 60, 70 million for Bruno now? I, I think they have. I really do. I yeah. feel like if Mourinho would not have come in that position, if he didn't know that there was money there, there wasn't yeah. any money there, he would have thought there's no project down there. There's no, you know, there's no funds for me to get to where I think Tottenham are. Mm. And I feel Tottenham are, I would class them as a top four club, but mm. obviously it's, it's to fight for. But I feel like we need Bruno Fernandes. Mm. We need him because they're the kind of games here when it's high tempo. We need mm. a ball of brilliance here. We, we lack that. And, and, I, and I always say it's freestyle football. Mm. But when you've got a number 10 in there, you've got a game plan because he can be the pivot and he can be the one that just collects everything. Would he slot straight in? I know it might sound like a stupid, in, stupid question, but would he be straight in at number 10? No question, mate. No question about that, man. Pereira, yeah. you know what I mean? And Lingard, they're not good enough, mate. And I, and I said it today, I thought Pereira was quality today. Yeah, he was I, good. And I got a special mention out to him, but I think we need number 10 out today. But saying that, the game brilliant for me today, it was mm. job done and it was an efficient form. I just got to highlight Brandon Williams today. He's going mate, from strength to strength, man. Like, mate, fearless, tenacity, energy, gives you every single thing that Shaw, for me, doesn't give you. And that's why there's no agenda with Shaw. Mm. I just think that he's not good enough to be United's left back because he doesn't offer you anything going forward. And he doesn't offer you the kind of, the, the, the way Bradley Williams almost, you know, gives that kind of you know, outlet. You need an outlet. You can't just be one dimensional and Van Bissaka all the time. You've got to have something on the left hand side. So then when we need to switch it over, when Fred, you know what, I can, Fred, I can switch over to Bradley Williams. Mm. I can do something on this left hand side. So I feel like he gives you that energy. And for me, I don't see Luke Shaw running that. That the keeper there, mm. well, you know what I mean. They, well, there was there was a clip I think against Wolves. It was you know, on Twitter where Brandon Williams kind of made a, a, a darting, darting run, darting run, yeah. And then he <laughs> he made a he made a he made a dart he made a darting run, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know what makes me laugh? It makes me laugh. This is funny. Um, so he, funny. He made a darting run yeah, yeah. and he didn't get the ball, but it shows the desire. And today, he makes the same darting run and gets a penalty. Anyway, that willingness to always bomb on. It gives you something else, man. And I feel like that's the cutting edge for me. We need to have that game in, game out. He's young. He can play at Wolves and he can play against Liverpool. Mm. You know what I mean? He's got the energy. This is what this is the games now where, as a young player, you can play every single game because you know what? You're, you're, you've got that energy. You've got that kind of almost like adrenaline. Yeah. And that's what United are reading right now. We need the adrenaline of these younger players, these hungry younger players today, and we need to build that into performance. Was he your man of the match? For me, I think it's a between the middle. You know what? I've got to give it to Kwame Battle. Two assists, you know what I mean? I thought he's pivotal today to so every single thing. Yeah. But let's not, I, I would say, let's enjoy the win here, but let's yeah. not kid ourselves. We are an inconsistent team. Yeah. We'll have performances like this where we breeze past people, but we'll have the game where maybe Wolves against, yeah. you, know, Liverpool, you know, Man City, yeah. where we almost have no structure, no identity. Talk to me, Liverpool next Sunday. I don't know, mate. Uh, I know I'm fast forward now. Wolves, we'll, we'll touch on that, but. I'm praying, it? mate. I'm praying, mate. I, I don't want to get annihilated. I think. Is it is it an Oli kind of game where you you know you sit back and hit them on the break? Perfect Oli game plan. You know what I mean? You know we counter attack in FC. That's what he builds his side on. Pre press and the fast energy. We just got to basically come in there and just like you know almost come with. We, we've got to go for it. I believe we've got to go for it because at the end of the day you're gonna get beat by Liverpool regardless. So come in there with a game plan against Man City where they almost think they got too overconfident. And then we had a game plan. Fred in the middle on the roll. But then again you're asking for McTominay. He's out. He's mm. very, very pivotal to what Oliver Solskjaer does in that midfield. Mm. Quite bad against Fabinho. You know what mm. I mean? The energy they've got in there. Is it going to be too much? But I just want to come in there and be proud of what they got. Yeah. So if they come in give there, a give, give, give a good account of themselves, put in a performance in there, then we can all go home and say, you know what, they put in a performance. But if you just if you go in there and, you know, we almost like give it to Liverpool and you say, you know what, mm. three points is handed to you there. Almost like it was against the first half of City. Yeah. Like, we know they're a better side, but you still got to give a good account of yourself. Yeah. And, and there's, there's got to be a clay path for Rashford. There's got to give a play for Martial. It just can't be out there and freestyling. We've got to come out there and say, you know what, Rashford, you're going to be the main man. So what we're going to do is you go in the left forward position. You go, you don't go out to Alexander Arnold and, mm. and, and try attack him because you know Alexander Arnold is a bit weak on the defensive side. Mm. Attacking forward is brilliant. So when Alexander Arnold's going forward, can we can we do something with Rashford? So he's in the in a kind of a can we go in the two? Martial and mm. Rashford, can he be in the two? So when we, we go on attack, let's push forward with the mm. two and let's do something out there. Something's got to be done there. Training ground, we've got a week now. Yeah. We can almost concentrate on two games now. Because Wolves is a replay, yeah. but they've got to concentrate because there's a few games here and there before that. But we've got to come in there with a game plan. Mm. It can't just be, you know what, let's freestyle. Because you know what happens after that, innit? But yeah. I think today. Bradley Williams and, and quite a show today for me, brilliant. Nice one, bro. Yeah, respect, bro. Man United 4, Norwich nil. That was an efficient, efficient Manchester United win. 
a, a win that was full of goals, full of energy, and what you expected from United really. That was for me, you know what I mean? We needed that after the Man City game, how terrible we were. We needed the fans back on side, and we got that in the, in the game today. I thought Norwich, yes, they were poor, but we had a job to do today, and United did that for large parts of the game. You know what I mean? Uh, United took the lead through Marcus Rashford, Juan Mata today, and Brandon Williams, I'll talk about it in a minute, but Juan Mata for me today, showing his absolute class today. That goal, that goal, sometimes what, what Juan Mata does, what, what he doesn't have in pace, he, he does it with energy and his, and his tenacity and almost his kind of technique and his brilliance on the ball. You know what I mean? That cross control and then that cross into, into Marcus Rashford, unbelievable cross. And all Rashford had to do was just guide it in the net and it was one nil to United. I thought in that first half we were good, but we weren't, you know, unbelievable in terms of how we are pressing the ball and kind of, you know, the, the, the quality and chances weren't as much, but we had the intent, we had the intent to move the ball about. I thought it was intricate, it was tidy, you know, it was, it was what we wanted from United and that's what we got in that first half. Norwich didn't really turn up in that first half. I thought, apart from that one chance he had, didn't really turn up to be honest, but United had to do a job today and they did it. 4-0 and obviously Man United got into the second half, same press, same energy and obviously got the second goal. Bradley Williams, I thought, what a game for him today. Absolutely stood above the rest today and he got that goal. I thought it was brilliant. It just shows how he deserves that left back position. He went in there and and went in for Tim Krul. I thought Tim Krul had it covered and then he went in for a, for the for foul Tim Krul and I got him down. And obviously Rashford, he had to prove something after that penalty miss at Norwich. I think he saved twice the penalties, Tim Krul. And obviously, yeah, and then Max Rashford made it too. The United just went straight, straight from that position onwards. You know what I mean? Again, Juan Matter again. Brilliant, brilliant crossing. As on a plate for uh, Martial, sucked it in nicely. And it was 3 0 up. And then United thought, can we get more? I thought these were there for the taking. You know what I mean? And, and then what happens again? Mason Greenwood comes in, same energy. This guy, I don't know what his stats are for his ratio of goals, but again, that same, same goal. One feet, bang, on the right-hand side. It's not even on the left-hand side. It was on the right-hand side of Tim Krul, and he got it in, and I thought, we were, was in there, and, we, and it was brilliant. You know what I mean? That's what we expect from United. You know? This is the kind of the kind of performance you expect. Yes, it's against Norwich, who are poor, and they're down and out, but it was a job done today. It was an efficient, efficient performance. The players stood up today. You had to prove a point today, and they, and they did it. You know what I mean? This was just a game there. Three points is a must. Come out three points. A bonus in performance, yes, but I feel like this is the time now, after the result against um, against Man City, how we were so poor in that game, we had no ideas. Today was just a little bit of a, a breather, really. It was all in all, it was a breather. It was a, it was a kind of performance where you come up, you turn up, do the job and get out, you know what I mean? I think there's bigger tests to come, let's, let's be real out here, there's bigger tests to come, but you got to play what's in front of you, and United dealt with that, I think, you know what I mean, in, in terms of, of what happened in that game. Dealt with the pressure. You know, I mean, I thought they might be, be, be a bit good in that, in that kind of, you know, in the midfield areas, but I thought we dealt with it. And yeah, you know, I mean, let's roll on Wolves on on, on Wednesday night, and see what we can get from there. But yeah, not 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 uh, an astounding performance, but you know, we, we did what we had to do today, and and I thought the boys played well, and and you know, let's see where we take oh, it from here. Oh. We are a yo-yo team, you know what I mean? We are very very inconsistent, but it's what it's what happens off the pitch that counts, eh? Yes, Said, man. Listen, before you come and you get angry and all that, I'm yeah. Angry, bro. No. <laughs> I'm <not> yeah. Angry. <laughs> nah. Yeah. Angry, man. <laughs> we won. I'm a realist, man. I know. I'm a before you come with all the real stuff, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We won, man. We beat Wolves, yeah, yeah. man. That's, that's you know what I mean? That's what you know. What I mean, that's what people that are get me not. Is that what you have with him now? Is that what? Yeah. Is that exactly. what? No, nah, no. What is? No, nah, yeah. but we did win today, but it wasn't a great game. No, nah, it? it wasn't a great game, man. It's mm. just a reality where we are right now. I think that was uh, freestyle football versus continental technical football, and that is where for me Wolves are there. I thought I was in all, man. I'll be real out here. That's what I want United to be like. Technical football. I'm talking about top level. And ease how they played through how midfield, they played how they moved the ball. Connor Cody, Connor Cody here is a brilliant ball playing centre back. And people laugh at him and say, you know what, he's not, he shouldn't be a target for my United. He out there, good on the ball. He'll be a good defender. You know what I mean? I feel like from this, from every single position on that team, from Saiz to Dan Donker, every single person knew know what they were doing that game. Play through the lines, you know what I mean? They, every single person knew where they were. From the ball, Jimenez from the throw-in. Mm. He gets the ball, what does he do? Over the top, he knows where the uh, netto is. That's what you call tactical football. Everyone knows where the island position is. I just feel like, again tonight, it's just freestyle for me. And I keep saying it all the time, I don't see a clear plan in this United team. You know what I mean? From the, from the, from the ball, when he gets to Lindelof and Maguire, mm. where is the positioning? I just look at the two midfielders in there, Fred and, and uh, Fingy. 
Matic. They don't complement each other. But Ole Gunnar Solskjaer needs to find a way of complementing each other. You just can't have them both sitting. I don't know why Fred always is on a base. Why can't Fred play further forward? Let let sometimes link up with uh, Quan Matter. Let's let's you know in, in a four three three. I thought it was a four three two one today. You know what I mean? I want to see Fred more. You know, moving up the pitch more. You know what I mean? Playing on the left left kind of centre midfield. I don't know, man. I just I have to agree. I, do you know? I have to agree yeah, with you yeah. in terms of the lack of ideas because I saw Wolves just compact. Compact stay in their shape, the ground, stay solid, yeah, stay yeah. structured, and United won't be able to hurt us. And then when they had it, the way they moved the ball around, and it, it looked like to me that the way the game was patterning out was always going to take a little moment, yeah, a yeah. little moment, a someone to just quality. do something, yeah, yeah, yeah. or a quick counter or something. Yeah, yeah. And it was very cagey because for as dominant as Wolves were, though, because I want to talk about the positives, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I did think we defended quite well. Yeah, yeah, like, I, thought, yeah. I feel Jimenez had that, I think, that chest and turn first off, a Set good man, save. Yeah, that, yeah. yeah. but then after that, they didn't really, yeah, apart yeah, yeah. from the disallowed goal, they didn't really... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Test um, uh, uh, Romero, but neither did we. I get yeah, it. But I thought the first half, I thought we looked out of our depth. Yeah. You know what I mean? I thought midfield was awful. We couldn't, couldn't get near them. But two were Neves, mate. You know what, mate? Two of them in there as well I against our three. I take Neves all day long. I, people talk about Bruno Fernandes, mate. I think you look at, you've got to look at Neves, mate. He ran that midfield. Him and Matilio, yeah, ran that midfield. Mm. But I thought second half, I thought Lindelof for me, I think it's man of the match for me today. I thought he was, for me, good centre back today in terms of he kept he kept him and us at bay. And, I, and, I'm, and, and I always say Lindelof's not good enough for this football club. But credit. Where it's true today. I thought it was solid today. I thought it came back, um, um, what's it called, Jimenez, when he needed to. to you know what I mean? Roughed it up a bit. You know what I mean? Got the first balls in there. Obviously, had Maguire solid again today. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, thought, I thought he was, I thought Maguire I just, was good today. I just, I just look at this overall picture and I just keep looking at it again. I think, where's where's the structure in the football club? Where's the kind of idea that Oli has? I don't see it. I just don't see what pattern of play he has. You know what I mean? When we get the ball, Where's the interchange? Where's the kind of for me? It looks like Quan Matter being our is our instrument playmaker now. We don't like we thought Quan Matter was out. You know what I mean? Like out of the cold. Yeah. You know what I mean? But this is what I'm saying. Should he, should, should he play more side? Should he? I I'm, know, I'm, I'm, all right. I look, I know, I know. I know. Look, I know. We need better in that position. So you yeah, know, yeah. Bruno Fernandez, you know, Madison Green, all of these kind of players. I'm talking about it right here, right now. Jesse Lingard's been non-existent for yeah, yeah, yeah. for uh, for God knows how long. Pereira has good energy, but we always yeah, moan yeah. about his final decision. Yeah, yeah. Um, then you're looking at Matter coming into that number. Gomez is not getting a kick for whatever reason. He'd probably be out the door. Why is he going to resign if he's not getting any yeah, game yeah. time? One Matter still has quality in terms of well, like world class quality, yeah, yeah. like a finding play. Should yeah, he yeah. get a, a bigger look in? I think if, I think we're just a bit, you know, it's, it's, we're at this minute where United are with the best of bad bunch, mate. And, and I look at it, Quan Matter for me has the only kind of technical ability out of the whole lot. Yeah, and it just shows where United are yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah. 31 year old, we're relying on a, on a 31 year old. I think his legs are gone really, you know, honestly. But what you don't lack is that kind of, you know, technique and your kind of vision. vision yeah, and he exactly. has that. He sees decision the game. making. It's decision making, he sees the game differently. And he also gets in the positions where Lingard and Pereira. Never heard of, mate. You know what I mean? To get to know when when Martial was pressing, to know to get in that position and almost at the end have the nerve and the and the kind of audacity to chip the well, keeper. Well, Martial today as well. He had he had a quiet game, a difficult game, but when game. but when he needed that bit of quality, yeah, when he needed to hold onto the ball yeah, yeah. and release at the right time, he yeah, did. Yeah. And that's what, that's what United are at. Really, we're playing patches, we're playing kind of you know uh, the, the transitions, yeah. and that's what we are at. That was a game for me, a moment of quality won the game. Yeah. Apart from that, I, I just look at that and I thought. Did, was it was a job there to say you know what let's not get any injuries but then again Rashford got down today let's not get any injuries let's not get, get ahead of ourselves just get the game be professional tonight was a professional performance yeah. go in there solid at the back that's the basis of, basis, a, of a manager yeah, exactly. especially but, against Wolves ba basically we were back to basics get get basically stay, stay safe on the centre backs midfield compact I don't think they they rarely moved Matic and Fred they rarely moved hmm. I thought Fred one of his quiet games today I, he gave the ball away needlessly I thought he wasn't creative in kind of expert where he gives the ball quickly. But today was back to the basics. Mm. Get, get the job done and let's mm. move forward. Last two things. Because the end of the day, we, got, we need to go to the next round. And I don't know if we what for the well, it's what, what for the Champions No, no, they've got, a re, they've got a replay and it got postponed. So Jeez. they've got to play. So <laughs> who, what, exactly, what will I pitch up at, up at Chanmere? So who, I know, I know it might sound like a silly question. Who went? Chicken. He said, "He said if we play like that, we lose the champion." I don't know. You know what I mean? I call, what about against it? I know. But what I was, was going to ask you is, who would you prefer? Because if you think about it, if you get Watford, they're fighting relegation and need to, they're going to make loads of changes. And because they, because <laughs> of the waterlogged pitch, yeah, yeah, they yeah. literally got to play that game. And if they win it, they no, got to play, play us Watford, three. Yeah, let's play Watford. Would you prefer Watford? I want Watford. Let's get on a nice pitch. You get me? Yeah. <laughs> let's do our. I know. I know. I know. Make loads of changes. We let, make loads of changes. We beat them. We beat them. Yeah. We don't. We don't. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's the reality of football. Yeah. But I'd rather play on the surface. That you know what I mean? It's manageable. <laughs> you know right. what I mean? Talk to me. Talk to me about Liverpool before you go. 
Pray, mate. Pray. Is, it, is it prayers? Is, prayers, it, mate, is prayers. it a GoFundMe page? Is yeah, it, listen, what, what is go it? Go do everything. Go see a pastor. Go see whoever. You get me like. You don't think we can do it? Listen, mate. I don't know what Rance was on, man. You get me? I, I, you know what I mean? I don't know where he got his confidence from, but I just look at him and they're on a different level. There's a case of heroes versus, you know what I mean? That kind of, you know, villain versus, the, you know, Goliath. Mm. You know what I mean? I don't. I just look at it. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer comes with a counter attacking formation. We could just about can't get that something. work against them. You know, we pulled and out the bike against that's, City. That's, that's the only if we sit back and just almost invite Liverpool to play, mm. then it's not going to work. We need to have a, an emphasis on the game. We need to come with a game plan. It can't just be you know we've got Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday now mm. to, to work on a game plan. It's not as if we're playing them Thursday, Sunday. Mm. We've got a few days to say you know what, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. If you're gonna have one game, <laughs> one game, <laughs> <Choose this. laughs> listen, mate. Let's end this Liverpool. You know what I mean? Yeah. Unbeaten run, yeah? Let's end this bullshit, yeah? Because they're winning the league at the minute, you get me? I don't want an unbeaten run. Mm. So we just need to come out with a game plan. I don't want to come there almost like a, a like a mid, mid-table mid mid-table club, yeah? And just say, you know what, Liverpool, you're, on a, you're top of the league. You know what? You deserve that. No, mate. We've got to come in there with a game plan. Mm. Counter-attacking FC. Everything you want, mate. Pereira last in us, mate. I want everything in that game. Well, I want to see how. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> yeah, we want to be coming out. I don't want to hear that again, bro. None of that. Ole's at the wheel, bro. Poch, Poch is at the wheel. That's what I want to hear. You get me? But, but what I want to see, mate. Passion Merchants FC in that game. That's what. For once, yeah. I want Passion Merchants FC, man. Get me? <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Man United have absolutely scraped a one-nil victory against Wolves. To progress to the fourth round of the FA Cup. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it's 90 minutes I won't ever get. Not the greatest of spectacles. A dire, dire game, really lacking quality. United look like too many games have caught up to them. And it's just one of them games, you just get through to the next round and and the air just, you know what I mean, freezing, it's cold. I hardly got my seat, man. Not a lot to shout about, but um, United were dogged. You know what I mean? I thought credit to the defence tonight. I thought they were shaky in the first half. I thought we just couldn't get Wolves in the first half. Midfield, Nevers and Matinho. What players are they? But especially Nevers, absolutely beautiful. If the United could get a player in that Wolves team, it'll be Nevers all day long. He's got the energy, he's got the, 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 the midfield creativity. He can drive a ball, he can run with a ball. He can do it, everything, box to box midfielder. And United are lacking that in a minute, so. Yeah, first half wasn't great. United lacked any chances. Daniel James, I thought he had a few bright moments. In that, yeah, you too, say later. I thought he had a few bright moments, but United just couldn't get the cutting edge, you know what I mean, that first half. No internal change, no linking in behind the sick team. And I just thought we were flat in that first half. No quick, no overall spark in that first half. Second half, got a little bit better, not much better. And um, Wolves did the same thing, kept the ball neat and tidy. United just couldn't get any creativity. Couldn't get a foothold in the game, I thought. We lacked creativity tonight. I think Mata played his heart out and tried to, to run a few things together, but eventually United pressed Wolves and did what they had to do. Mata, uh, Martial, brilliant solo run, fired it into Mata. Mata, brilliant, brilliant finish. If there's one thing that Mata has made, his absolute finishing is unbelievable. Dink over the top, see you later, bye bye, keeper. And that's what we did in that first and second half. And then we almost just carried it. In that second half, it was almost a case of just reserving energy. You know what I mean? Um, playing the ball about, defending as a unit. And I thought today, I got to give it to Lindelof tonight. Brilliant tonight. I thought he was head and shoulders above the rest. I thought he was matured, he was calm on the ball, and he was solid against the Jimenez, who is a real, real handful. You know what I mean? He's done it to many defenders in the Premier League. And he was, I thought today was brilliant today. Um, but yeah, we go through to the second round, uh, being fourth round of the FA Cup. It's just one of them games, in all honesty. Not a real great quality in that pitch. Uh, not a lot to shout about. Not really anything to come out with. I just thought we have to get the job done, get out of Old Trafford, you know, into the next round. And yeah, even if we were to win 4 0 tonight, it was all about getting the job done and getting to the next round. And that's all you can do until you get to the. It's all about cup competition. You beat the next team, you go, you go through to the next round. You know what I mean? That's all it is at the minute. But. Yeah, standout performance today, I thought, Manto, Lindelof, you know what I mean, they're about, just about, I thought, were, 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 were enough to, to, to beat United, uh, beat, sorry, uh, Wolves, but Wolves, I admire the way they played, I thought, credit to them, you know what I mean, they've got a manager who knows his style of play and knows what he's all about, and you've got to give credit to him, you know what I mean, uh, I thought Nevers, you know what I mean, uh, Matinho in that midfield, I thought they were quality, but United go through to the uh, fourth round of the FA Cup, let me know in the comments below who's your man of the match. I'm going to go for Lindelof. Uh, I thought he was absolutely solid tonight. 
Quad Matter, their shop, but yeah. Old Trafford, I'm out. Manchester United have lost to Anfield 2 0. I've, I've had enough, mate. I've had enough of this football club. We are done out here. Absolutely done out here. No ambition, no no heart, no desire, no quality, no absolute quality from Manchester United Football Club, yeah? No quality in that team. And it's a disgrace, mate. Absolutely disgrace. I've had enough of this football club, mate. If you're telling me you don't need signings after that game, yeah? Then shame on you, mate. Absolutely shame on you. Shocking, mate. That game, yeah? For large parts of that game, I don't want to hear this bullshit about we tried in, in, in moments. And if Martial took this shot, and if Martial took that, mate, absolute bollocks, mate. That was shocking. Absolutely shocking, mate. What was the game plan in that game? Please, someone fucking tell me. What was the game plan in that game? Someone tell me. Five at the back, yeah? Are you kidding me? Five at the back? Five at the back for what? Someone tell me. Five at the back for what? What are we nullifying? Are we a championship team where you nullify a team that is, is so superior to you? We are playing Liverpool and I get it, the top of the league. I get it. But you don't telling me, yeah, that we need to pay five at the back, yeah, to stop these players. We should be thinking about ourselves. And I look at the Solskjaer, mate. You're done out here, mate. Out of your depth you are. You know why, yeah? Because you don't have no tactics, no game plan, no idea to break down a team, yeah? All you do, yeah, is freestyle football. And that's what you do. There's no implementation in your system, your style of play. The, the team, yeah, does not know your style of play. They don't. They absolutely don't. They run around and they just, you know what? We'll, we'll find a way of play. We'll find a way of breaking down a team. And they go out there and they freestyle for themselves. I've been saying it for a long, long time, yeah? Ole gonna freestyle. I'm not, I'm not dismissing this guy. I'm not, but that's what he is right now. Because at the end of the day, yeah? Liverpool have made that easy. And that could have been four or five, mate. Let's not kid ourselves, yeah? Let's not kid ourselves. That could have been four or five nil. But you know what? Luck was on our side for a bit. I just don't know, man. I, I'm, I'm done with this, man. Then I'm hearing rashes out for three months. Who told you to play against Wolves? Who was the manager? What was the manager's thought process, yeah? It's saying that this manager, this player deserves to, you know what, let us win the game. There's Chong there, there's other players available that can beat Wolves. It's Wolves for crying out's sake. I mean, is this a joke, man? It's an absolute joke, the game. And the game in itself, yeah, was nothing, mate. Absolutely nothing in there. No hope in the world. Martial, when, when, he, when he has one-on-one, -on -one, he should be scoring that. But at the end of the day, it was one of them where, you know what, boy, we had a chance here. Should have been 1-1. One, one. But for large parts of that game, mate, we looked clueless. No identity, I told you about this manager, yeah? This is just not a way of playing football. It does not take a CEO, it does not take a, the Glazers, it does not take Woodward to find out what is your formation. How are you going to play the football pitch? How are you going to implement your ideas? It, it don't take that. It doesn't take that. You know what I mean? It takes All it takes here is time on the training pitch and a philosophy and an idea and a style of play. You cannot just press a team you know what I mean? And play counter-attacking football for 38 games a season. It just doesn't work. It doesn't. But the manager persists in it. It's one way of playing. There's not, there's one, there's, if there's not a plan A, well, damn right there's no plan B. Because there isn't. It's just, you know what? Hoof, hoof. Go and play, lads. Express yourself. Play for the badge, mate. Bollocks, mate. Absolute bollocks. And you know what, guys, yeah? Kid you not. Kid you not, yeah? Season could be over in bloody January. Absolutely could be over in bloody January. And that is for me, yeah, embarrassing, mate. Absolutely embarrassing. This is not my football club, mate. I'm not the one I fell in love with. And the Glazers need to get the, football club, get the fuck out of here, mate. Woodward, get the heck out of there. If you're not signing anyone, yeah, and you're not getting this Bruno Fernandes done all over the line, yeah, and you're telling me, are you telling me, yeah, he's worth 40 million? Are you kidding me, yeah? And you say we don't need signings, mate. Then absolutely shame on you, mate, because you are absolutely the rot of this football club. Absolutely the rot of this football club. You've got a manager who you've hung him out to dry. He's absolutely out of his depth, yeah? And he's now hung the players out to dry because he has no formation, no tactics, no style of play, and he's absolutely bottling us, man, yeah? We are bottle jobs. We are absolutely shite. We are absolutely a disgrace here to the badge. None of them players are good enough. None of them, mate. We are a joke, mate. And you know what? It's going to get even more banal. It's going to get even more worse because this football club does not care about its fans. They don't care about winning trophies anymore. It's all about the commercial avenue. It's all about the commercial money. It's all about what they get in profits. It's all about what they get in the sales. They don't care about the football. They don't care about what's happening to the fans. They don't care about ticket prices. They don't care about any of that, yeah? All they care about is, you know what, we'll appease these kind of fans. Because you know what, they'll pay more money. 
It's a joke, mate. This football club's a joke. That was a joke of a game. And do you know what, mate? It's going to get more embarrassing. Fix up United, mate. We are an absolute joke. And do you know what, mate? We need signers, mate. Ed Woodward, get, get your ass out now and get the signers done. Absolutely done now. Side. Um, awful today. Awful. Um, I mean, it... it it stunk the place out. It, it went from bad to worse. People not, not standing up and be counted for. Burnley score the exact type of goals that Burnley would score um, in, in terms of the Chris Wood one at least. Um, the Rodriguez one, I haven't seen it back, but it looked like the hair should have done better. Um, I know he hit it hard, but near post. Um, and where, where are we now? I mean, it's, where are we going? We are rest in peace, mate. Rest in peace, mate. RIP, mate, United. United, mate. We are falling, mate. We are falling, mate. That club, mate, is gone. We need to start again. I told you. I told you at Newcastle. Did I tell you at Newcastle, mate? I said to you, reset and start again, mate. This football club is falling, mate. From top to bottom, yeah? They're falling. Woodward's a banker. Don't give a fuck about this football club. Glazers, they don't give a fuck about this football club, yeah? They've hung out a manager to dry. In, out of his debt manager. Hung him out to dry. And I've been telling you, yeah? AC Milan 2.0 we are, mate. And, I'm be, and I told you from say, day one, yeah? They were a top club. They had Ronaldinho, they had all the players in the world, yeah? And what happened, yeah? The financial side of it, they, they took advantage of that, yeah? And what they did was, they, 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 they lacked the side of the football pitch. And what happened, they fall and they crumble. Man United are an elite club that have fallen, mate. Let's get real out here. Man's paying 700 quid, yeah, for that shite, mate. 700 quid, yeah, for Jack Cork, yeah? 700 quid for Jack Cork, and what's his name, Westwood, yeah? To boss midfield. 700 fucking quid, mate, and pay for that, yeah? 4 4 2 dynamic, mate, they played, yeah? Only got a soul try, yeah? Let me just look at the football side of it, yeah? But I'll get to the owners in a bit, you get me? On the football side, yeah? How, how are you telling me, yeah, you need 4 3 3 for Burnley? Are you out of your mind, Flex, yeah? Are you telling me you need three, three midfielders in there? You play a 4 4 2, yeah? And you go at the game and you win the game in the first half. 4 4 2 today would have killed them off. Because you know why? The two centre backs would have been occupied. Mason Greenwood and Martial would have occupied the centre midfielders. You go direct. You don't play three midfielders at home. I've been crying out for how many seasons. Matters today was not needed. He was, he was almost today a centre back. Getting the ball receiving like a quarterback. All he did was say pass down there. Say pass down there. No killer pass, no nothing. And I've been telling you and telling you, yeah? This football club is finished. The backroom staff are absolutely shite, mate. Mike Freeling, yeah, all he does, yeah, hands in his pockets. You've got Michael Carrick, trusted as a as a, as a, as a position in this, in this team, yeah? In this, the manager of backroom staff, no experience. Kieran McKenna, no experience, yeah? Mike Freeling, mate, should have left where Sal Ferguson left. Let's be real out here, yeah? This football club is gone, mate, gone. Well, he didn't, he come back. <laughs> well, he come back for what reason, mate? For what reason? Burnley Football Club have embarrassed us today. In a 4-4-2 in a 4-4-2 style formation, yeah. That you know what? Hard work and desire. And every single person knew what they're doing. Sean Dyke was absolutely livid out there. Every single time Wood made a mistake, yeah. Get in your position. What are you doing there? Every single person knew what they were doing. They were in coordinations. And what did we do? We have the manager sat on his ass, yeah, for almost 75 minutes. Sat on his ass. But having said this side, in terms of when you said Matic's not needed and and the, and the soul charge thing, we put out pretty much that same team and beat Burnley. At their place, it wasn't just a great performance. no, it, it, wasn't a great it wasn't a great performance. But performance. But, but what I'm saying is, we nullified Burnley because remember, we and you, I stood next to you. We yeah, said what we did do in that game was nullify their physical presence by mopping up well and staying switched and didn't make any mistakes. Yes. And then we I nicked the two it. goals. I get it. But, I get it. But, but, and, but and before real. that, Saeed, That's there were real, chances man. to be had. I'm not trying to excuse it because that okay. was embarrassing. Okay. I'm just saying, Martial. Should've has scored. to score. Matt, Mata on his right foot should have scored. scored. So they're fine. They're, those are yeah, fine margins, and that's what. No, I know, right I know. But listen, the mentality of those players to then go, and then you're looking at defensively. 85 million for Maguire. He's captain. He didn't know where Chris Wood was. He didn't, was. Well he didn't yeah, know yeah. where he was. I know, I know. Matic got out jumped by the two, the other two um, lads who won it, and to, to knock it down for Chris Wood. Individual errors on I top of, it. on top of. Don't get me wrong. No style of play. I couldn't see it. They looked like so. There, there, there are other situations that are happening on the pitch that aren't just yeah, Oli. United should be relying on these kind of situations more with the brilliance. It should be constant attack for 90 minutes. You, you're relying on one transfer match for the match and matter for the whole game. Is this what we've become now? That's what Crystal Palace and them two, no disrespect, yeah? This is what Crystal Palace and Burnley do. They came here, they got the two goals and they got it. That's what they do. Man United don't do that, Flex, man. You don't do that. You have what, two chances in the whole game. It should be constant attack for the whole game. But you know what, it's, well, you know what it is, yeah? It's freestyle football. I told you, mate. Ole Gunnar freestyle, I told you, from day one, yeah? Yeah. There's no pattern of play, there's no uh, constant attack from minute get go. When Matic receives the ball, I don't know who gets started playing out from the back. What are we playing out from the back? Oh, every time we went to do that, I saw De Gea sort of look up, look to the left, look to the right, look because uncertain. And, and that's what I'm saying. I, I do agree with that in terms of 
what are they working on in the training field? Because it went short to Maguire, back to the keeper, out to Phil Jones, back to De Gea, just to boot it long anyway. Listen, so mate, we're not working on anything. We've got a traffic marshal as manager, mate. Let's be real out here, yeah? We've got a traffic marshal as manager because at the end of the day, all he does, yeah, listen, stay compact. That's what the, all has been done in the training ground. Stay compact, yeah, and use the wingers. That's the only thing I see about Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. It says use his wingers. Everything else here is non-existent. So that's why, for me, it comes down to the board level. They've got a manager, David Moyes, out of his depth. You know what I mean? Van Gaal, they should have gave time too. But you know what? It was boring football and the fans had enough, yeah? Jose Mourinho, they went into success. But what happened? Boring football and negative tactics and he almost got himself sacked. Then they got a manager and thought, you know what? Legend of the football club. Legend of the football club. Everyone's going to be happy. And do you know what, mate? They still are. And that's a worrying side for me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? People are saying, the owners, oh, you know, you look at the, the, okay. penny, the penny pinching and in terms I of... Get it. You know, we're, we're, we're um and an are in whether to spend a few extra million on Listen, mate, I've been on Fernandez. How, how much do we need? I said to you four signings. When I told you a couple of weeks of four signings, but you know what, mate? I don't even expect anything, mate. This club, yeah, is finished, mate. Absolutely done out here. Bruno Fernandez, yeah, he's looking at that thinking, what the fuck am I coming there for? <laughs> Top, the, the fifth in the league, yeah, playing Bora football, unaspiring manager. The clubs don't give a fuck about the football club. You know what I mean? Why would I come to them? That's what they're thinking. That's what's really stalling behind the scenes. Forget all his valuation and all that, yeah. That's that he is wants what... to come, though, Sai. Listen, he's mate. Made it clear when, he, when, he wants to when, come. when it comes to the, to the level, yeah, when he, look at, when he looks at that, yeah, and he thinks, you know what? Is it even me worth it coming there? When you've got people like Tottenham around there, you've got people like Inter Milan, there'll be other people, company, because today there was reported, yeah, other clubs are, are trying yeah. to get him. Absolutely. And what does that come to? Bruno Fernandes is assessing the option. You know what I mean? I want we're Bruno stalling Fernandes. in terms United of just slapping the money down. United need Bruno Fernandes. I've looked at, you know, Ricky and he said, you know what, is he the kind of player to come be like, of course he is, mate. Because tonight, yeah, we had Anders, Anders Pereira, yeah, who fixes Kaka, mate. You're not Kaka, yeah? Stop thinking you're Kaka. You know what I mean? You're a Brazilian, B-Tech Brazilian, yeah? Who should not even be nowhere near this squad, yeah? There's so many deadwood in this squad, yeah? I'd get rid of most of them, mate. Absol you know who I'd keep in that squad, yeah? Juan Misaka, yeah? And I think Harry Maguire there's a player in there. Tonight it was awful. Mm. Harry Maguire, yeah? There's a player in there. Martial, Rashford. Do you know what, mate? And Fred, there's five players I keep in that squad, mate. Mm. Just five. And that is, for me, shocking, mate. Everything needs to be done from top to bottom. But you know what, mate? The Woodward and the Glazers will still be here. Because you know why? Because you know why? The money that's coming from this football club and the commercial avenue and the people that are coming to the mega store, yeah? I don't care, mate. You come into the mega store and you're funding the Glazers, mate. That's what we're doing right now. You can talk about don't give a ticket. Yeah, I, know, I get it, I get it. Yeah, yeah, that's I get a bit... Un no, because what no, I don't... I know, do you know I what it is? You mean, I don't I want people to feel like... No, 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 by supporting that, Because there's a lot of people that don't get to buy... But I'm not even that, even but buying a season ticket, sorry, we're putting yeah, money know, in the game. We I all know, are. I know, but I'm talking about the bigger picture here. I'm not saying about don't go in now, I don't spend anything now, but I'm just saying the bigger picture is these guys won't go. The Saudis, yeah, they said they will only buy this football club under a certain price and the Glazers want five billion. Who in the right mind is going to go buy United for five billion? This football club is at best right now and that's why I'm not even ranting now. It's got to the point where I'm looking at it and I'm sad. You know what I mean? That's the problem with you, mate. You know what I mean? This guy, that's, that's the problem with the United fans, yeah? They're thinking fan cams are ruining it, yeah? That's what I'm saying to you. This, this is the, what we've got right now. This is the level no, that we've got right It's now. not even funny. You know it's I mean? just it's funny that he thinks, he thinks people that are giving everything outside that's Old Trafford mean. are the this reason the why problem. Man United are poor. Problem. This is the problem with United. This is the problem with United right now. We've got people like this here that say we are the problem of the football club. When really, the Woodward and the Glazers are the football club are the problem right now. That's the reality we're at right now. We're not, we're not on an 11 playing field where we say, what is the real problem at United? And we need to make an effort now. This is a time to protest, yeah? To walk out the stadium. I'll be real out here, man. You've got to walk out the stadium now. Because if it's not going to happen now, yeah, it will never happen. Because at the end of the day, yeah, we are not winning no trophies this season. Europa League, forget that, mate. FA Cup, mate. Watford, I'm not even confident, mate. Top well, four, if it is mate. them. Yeah. Top four, yeah. This could have been... Top four could have been absolutely gone for us, mate. Because mm. Chelsea are inconsistent. Arsenal are not that good. Tottenham, inconsistent, but they won tonight. Mm. Top four could have been nailed on for us. But you know what, mate? We've got an out of depth manager. A club doesn't, doesn't care. Players are just not good enough, mate. They're not good enough to be consistent. And right now, Rashford's out. You know what I mean? Martial's limping now, mate. I see him limping towards the end, mate. James, I love the guy, yeah? Just not good enough for this level. And that's no disrespect to the guy, yeah? Just not good for this level. We are in a mess right now. And I keep telling you, mate, RIP United, mate. RIP. <laughs>
nothing else to be said really. We are falling, mate. Ed Wood has, has rotten the football club to his core. Out of depth manager, out of depth players, players hung out to dry. And absolutely shocking, mate. That out there, mate. No need for that. Absolutely no need for that. And the Burnley fans are screaming their love like they won an FA Cup final. We are done out here. We are done out here. RIP Man United, mate. RIP Man United, mate. We are finished, mate. The football club has to reset, start again, mate. Top four, forget all that nonsense about top four. Start again, reset, get the dead one out, and get everyone out of this football club. From the top to the bottom, Glazers, get the fuck out of the football club. If you don't care about the fans here, get the heck out of here. We are paying 700 quid for my fucking season ticket here. Yeah? For fucking what, mate? For fucking what? And Woodward, yeah, sat in his chair. Don't give a fuck about the football club. All he cares about is a commercial avenue and the commercial priorities for this football club. Apart from that, yeah, you don't give a shit about this football club. I've come out here, yeah, cold night, foggy night, yeah, for fucking Westwood and Cork to be playing us off the park, mate. Westwood and fucking Cork. The club, yeah, is done, mate. Absolutely done out here. And, and, people, and these fans are singing, we are shit. You know what I mean? We are shit. He's one of our own, mate. We are done out here, mate. Man like fucking J. Rodriguez, mate. His, his career should have been in the championship right now. A man is there singing his name up. We are done out here, mate. The football club is gone, mate. Died. The football club is died, mate. We are finished, mate. Absolutely rotten to the core, mate. And I'm sat here on the ones, yeah? And I'm just... I'm sick of this man, I'm sick of this man, yeah? This football club is finished, man. Absolutely finished, bro. The early football club, we had no ideas. Yes, Martial should have scored. Yes, all this should happen, mate. But the bottom line is, yeah, we are just not good enough to compete at the highest level. We are where we are. And we are a mid-table club, and that is that. Get the reality checks in, yeah? We are a mid-table club, and that is what we are right now done out here mate, absolutely done out here mate, yeah, I've had enough of this football club, I've had enough of Ed Woodward, I've had enough of Glazers, every single person, yeah, if you're not willing to fight for the cause, yeah, if you're not willing to invest in this football club, get the fuck out of here, we don't need you man, yeah, piss thing man, absolute piss thing man, you know what I mean, man out here, kids are like just sitting down here bro, look at the kids out here man, just sitting here, what have they seen man, what has this football club given them to hope for, absolutely nothing man, Shocking man, shocking, shocking, shocking. RIP this football club, mate. Done out here, mate. Edward, get the fuck out of here. Blazers, get the fuck out of here, mate. RIP, United, mate. Shit. Yes, Saeed. Um, yeah. You know what? You know what? We were poor in in some parts, yeah, like yeah. we just couldn't create. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. just couldn't create. Yeah, yeah. But we got a goal out of nothing after staying in the game thanks to the yeah, Hay, yeah. our first 15. And I thought we gave a decent account of ourselves. City, were, we gave as good as we got in terms of yeah. just standing up and defending well. Yeah, but yeah. we just couldn't transfer that into chances, which is always our limitations. Yeah, yeah. But we haven't won the tie. Yeah. But considering the Fernandez deal's done, we go on to Wolves, we've won on the night. Are you, are you, <laughs> you, see, I'm try, you see what I'm trying yeah, to do? Yeah, I'm yeah, trying yeah. to get some the positivity out of there, you. The narrative today. Yeah, is, is, this a, is this a too much of a positive agenda for me? Or can you see... Something there. Positive agenda because we got through the Fernandes. That, <laughs> that's all I can take it from this game. It, it was a game of, you know what, just no quality. No real quality. And that is why we signed Bruno Fernandes. Yeah. To make the difference. Because Jesse Lingard, I love him, yeah. Local lad, yeah. But for me, you're just not my United level. And that is no damning of him as a player. You're just not my United level. What's going on with him right now? Because I'm not going to lie, say that. Today, I, I kind of, I almost felt sorry for him. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying... What's was going on? Yeah, I, I know there's these things been going on off field, but he was really poor today. You just can't buy quality, mate, and you can't. Some some people are born with quality. Some people are born with kind of other attributes. He's a more of a kind of player where in a, in a, diff, in a team where there's less hindrance on to to win the game and to to almost create. That's not Jesse Lingard. Mm. Jesse Lingard is in a in a, in a place in a place where they, they are is is bubble around them and he's got people running off and it's like you know energetic mm. and it's a press team, brilliant. Similar to Leicester, yeah. but for me out there today, I just looked at it and I thought, when we got the first goal, was there a belief we could get the second goal? Mm -hmm. And that was for me. The, the, I was looking at the game and I thought, there was for me. Did only think that we could get the second goal. Was it a case of you know what? Let's preserve the lead. Let's 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 take our lead. You know what? Is that a confidence boost for the next game? Mm -hmm. I, that's what I, I I look at that. I know some criticism of Ole, the team, but. Mm -hmm. 
I almost thought, did he say to themselves, you know what, if we get a 1 0 victory, will that boost us for Bowles game? Will that boost us for mm. Chelsea game? It's not a loss. We've come out there, SCN, it's not a loss. Mm. And I know people are going to say, oh, deluded, that was a poor game. Mm. But if you've got to look at it, and the fact of it's only going to socialise, he's not a manager that's going to that's gonna do what Pep Guardiola. Not today, but mm. in, in the reality of it. He's not going to do a Pep Guardiola way, he'll dismantle you. Mm. It'll be a team where press. And it'll be a style of, you know, wingers forward and it'll be compact in certain areas. And, you know, you'll see some kind of moments. Mm. You will never have a, a full quality team with, with Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. It just won't happen. And I think it just will never happen for mm. me. That's why I feel like Ole Gunnar Solskjaer won't be the manager long term. In the short term, maybe. Mm. But looking at that game today, I thought it was a case of damage done the first leg. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and the way we set up, I thought we was really defensive in that 5-3-2. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because it wasn't... It did, obviously, Chapman is a whole different proposition, yeah. but it didn't look like uh, the three-five-two. It was more of a five-three-two because yeah, I literally yeah. counted five yeah, yeah. flat across the back for for yeah. large parts. I thought we our, our our game plan was to kind of just sit yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. kind of just absorb pressure yeah, yeah. and try to counter where we could, which just disintegrated yeah. at all times. Because let's not get it twisted. Our goal did come from nothing. I know we've started talking yeah, about yeah, positives, yeah. but now we're talking to, yeah, to, yeah. like more about the game now. In, in its entirety, we, we weren't poor, for, we just could not no, create no, 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 a no. thing. It, it just looks like a, a team where they're just dysfunctional. you got the back, it's more of a kind of a... They not, defended well. Yeah, they, they, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. you got the back where it's, everything's like flourished and everyone, everything looks like it's, you know, sorted out. And then you look at the attack side. What are we working on the attack side? I just look at it and I think, on a training ground, we're, we're so defensive and compact, that's easy to sort out in the training ground. But when it's time to sort out, you know, your attacking ability and your attacking kind of stamp up, where do we go from there? That's for me, my my own opinion. And I don't know, man. I just look at it and I think, what's, what was our kind of attacking threat in that sense? Was, did, was there a belief in that game? Mm. To, to, to you might the shit, mate. Yeah. Get me on YouTube. <laughs> what? You know what? <laughs> you and I sell yeah. it. Talk to me. Hey, talk to me about Bruno Fernandes. How happy Wait, are you? Zin. Get him in the fucking mix and keep it in top bins. Has he got to start straight away against Wolves? Immediate effect. Straight away. <laughs> Scheming! <laughs> Slight little uh, re restart there, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I wish are, I had that confidence, man. I wish I had that confidence, man. Um, but, but, you know, um, yeah, so yeah, the, the lack of creativity, yeah, yeah, the, the damage was done. First, first like, Old Trafford damage done. I thought it almost was like a case of we, you know, the fire was done and it was a case of could we build it up again? And it was just a case of City had the quality here to, to score a few until today. I thought, you know, uh, Aguero had a few chances to get kept to the first half. Yeah. So we got, you know, let's not let's not kid ourselves and think that it was a one nil performance and it was a, it was a great performance. City it's could interesting have to see chance. what Oli says after that because well, you know, I think I he was. I, 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 I'm I can guy, see I can see that he'll probably draw on the positives from it, which he's got to. Yeah. But I just don't want to see any overboard comments. No, no, but no. I, I, don't, I don't know anymore. We came, we came here and we conquered. That's what he probably was saying. But yeah. he's not wrong. Yeah, two, yeah. Two, it's only team, only people to. Only team to win twice here. Yeah. Well, like I don't know if it, well, <laughs> don't know if he'll bring anything in the long run, but but we lost the tie. Yeah, so we lost the tie today, and I thought damage done. I thought Matic today played well, but yeah. I thought he he hung himself to to. to but dry how it. silly is that now? Because silly, look, going into the silly. Wolves game. Ricky said it in his fan cam that you know now Bruno Fernandez, uh, we needed him well, to start anyway, but now we doubly need him because our well, midfield options are going to be Fred Herrera, Pereira and Lingard. That's what, I, I reckon Bruno well, Fernandes won't start. I yeah. think it'll be too soon for him. I think the English style, you know, what I mean, he, he'll need to assess it first and look at it, go into training. And you seen the quality today? Well, <laughs> assess what? <laughs> assess what? You know what, man? The problem is for me, I don't want it to go in there and it's straight away. It's a case of you know, what I mean, just put him straight in there. Yeah, I want yeah. it to be a build up. Maybe the next game against Chelsea, we bet him in. Nah, mate, I don't, start I, I, him, mate. Well, that's not doubt. I, mean, I will start him. I will, I will start him, but the problem is, we'll only start him. That's, yeah. that's for me the bigger yeah, picture. Yeah, yeah. But today, I look at that game and I think, I just think it was a, two, a step too far for us in terms of getting a second goal. I yeah. just think we, we didn't have the belief again yeah. today, and it was a case of positives out there today. Brandon Williams, Luke Shaw, Another maybe good game for Williams. Back. Yeah, yeah. I thought you know, was good. but I just thought the final third we lacked, and I thought Martial today. I thought anonymous today didn't yeah. have the service. When he doesn't have the service, he looks absolutely awful, mm. and that is no criticism as a player for himself. It's just that when he doesn't have people filing against him, mm. Daniel James. I thought, what did he do when he came on? Was it better just to keep on Mason Greenwood? Mm. Maybe that is that case of his, his playing against Wolves. I don't know. I just look at it. and I thought a step too far for us, and we go again Wolves. I think that's a bigger picture, man. Yeah. Wolves going to be a massive test for us. Big, we don't we got a win. We got. Win. It's a must-win game, and I think we will win and because of the fact fixtures, that yeah. when when Oli when the time is Oli like today, yeah. when there's an onus to, to win and it's he gets kind of, out of it. he gets out of jail and yeah. he's, for me he's getting out of jail. Mm. You know what I mean? And we'll see again, but Wolves for me massive game. We have to win, bro. Nice one, bro. Respect. Man United have won one nil at the Etihad, second leg of the Parabat Cup, but 
it's a bitter, bitter sweet feeling for United. Uh, mix of emotions, really. We dug in, we showed character, we showed fight, um, showed a bit of discipline. Well, barring um, Matish at the end, but just as a case of just too much quality, too soon. And I think Man City just did him out enough to get a result in there, uh, you know what I mean? I thought I think they had a, they had a few guilt opportunities, but for us, it's a bit sweet feeling, you know what I mean? I'm proud of the boys and I think we did what we had to do, but we just didn't have the final, final end quality, the final ball, the final killing instinct after the second goal. When the first goal went in, I thought we'd kick in and maybe show a bit of, you know, adventurousness or, you know, kind of a, an attacking threat, really. But I, I just didn't think we had enough pattern of play. I didn't think we had enough about us to get the second goal, really. And I think um, it's one of them games where there's Ricky over there. You know Ricky? He'll be saying Matty's had a quack, rapid... Uh, cracking game but I thought Matic was absolutely instrumental in that game I told you about this second yellow I thought that was just unprofessional from him you know what I mean he's a top top pro and for him to do that you know what I mean at the end of the game just kicking the teeth really and it's just one of them where I don't know man I'm just I'm gutted man I'm absolutely gutted but where do we go from here man and we've got man, like Miles here bro what are you yeah, telling me about yeah, telling yeah, man you know it's, it's disappointing this week Bit sweet feeling for me. Bit sweet, and you know, and even me saying disappointing, it's been disappointing because we had the opportunity to possibly, you know, um, go through the first time. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, Willie, guys. Sorry about this. Yeah, man. Really, but, um, yeah, you know, um, just to show that it's very difficult to make it back up. So it's more of our fault for just not doing anything in the first game. Yeah. So now we are. Yeah. Got it, that's the overall feeling for me, got it, you know what I mean? I think we just did too much. I think we did too much, you know what I mean, to, to win the game and, and win it, obviously win the tie ball. Like, it's just, I thought there was a few positives in there. Fred, I thought it was brilliant. I thought Short was good at the back three. I thought uh, Bradley Williams was, 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 was positive. I thought all in aspects we did okay, but we just didn't, couldn't do the PSG. <laughs> let's, be, let's be frank, we, we just couldn't do the PSG. We couldn't do the, the result that we all wanted. And it's just a case of, you know what I mean? We've got Bruno Fernandes now, we, we, need, we need that quality. Because for me, Jesse Lingard just looked out of his death again, you know what I mean? Like, we needed a number 10 in there just to, 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 to strengthen the game and just to find the key moments in that game. And we just didn't have that. And, you know what I mean? It's just a case of, again, too soon for United. Just at the minute, we need quality, we need investment, we need a striker. I love Martial, but we need a striker. A ball finisher, a ball quality can get in between the lines, get in behind the lines. And yeah, man, we go again against Wolves, but a disappointing, disappointing United at the Etihad. My United have won tonight, but not through on aggregate and not through to the Carabao Cup final. Do I say congratulations to City? Probably not, because they've invested in that squad. <laughs> and yeah, probably for, for overall, You'd say they did the job in the first leg, but yeah, disappointing really. And yeah, we go again, Wolves, to bigger picture. You know what to do.